Welcome folks, I am Jabby Koe, joined by Achara Kirk. Hi. We're gonna look at the trailer for Vice, starring Christian Bale. Let's check this out, here we go. What do you say? I want you to be my VP. I want you, you're my vice. Well, George, I, uh, I'm the CEO of a large company. And I have been Secretary of Defense. And I have been White House Chief of Staff. The Vice Presidency is a mostly symbolic job. Uh -huh. However, if we came to a uh, different understanding, I can handle the more mundane jobs overseeing bureaucracy, military, energy, and uh, foreign policy. Yeah, right. I like that. When you have power, people will always try to take it from you, always. Are you even more ruthless than you used to be? Wow. So we gonna do this thing or what? I mean, is this happening? I believe we can make this work. <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> wow. Okay, Christian wow. Bale is definitely going to win the Oscar because he got fat for this. Did he really? I, 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 was, I wasn't <laughs> sure. Like, I wasn't sure if he actually did a body transformation again, as he always does, or yeah. if this was all makeup. But Brad Pitt sure. certainly invested in the right guy for the job. Mm -hmm. Plan B is his company, and it's right there. Smack dab in the... Plan B. So, uh... Wow. Both him and Sam Rockwell. I think Sam Rockwell's kind of being eclipsed here, but he deserves to be noticed as well. For... I'm sorry, I don't think Sam Rockwell is being eclipsed at all. I feel like he's kind of stolen the show in this. You think so? Yeah. No, I, I didn't hear anyone talking about him. I heard everyone talking about Christian Bale. Oh, no, but I mean, just in my personal opinion, just from watching this trailer, I'm like, yes, Christian Bale, you're wonderful. You've done yeah. a really great job. This is a great transformation. It's amazing. But also... Sam Rockwell. I, I think both of them are doing great. I think they've got good chemistry there yeah. uh, as this team. And I think it's something that a lot of people are very, very curious about. Even like the movie W, it came out way too soon. But mm. I still watched it because I was curious about any kind of inside information. I think I'm always curious about that kind of behind the scenes, looking behind the curtain kind of thing. Right. I'm reading the book Fear by Bob Woodward. It's about Donald Trump and it's supposed to have like inside information behind the curtain about what's really going on here. And it's just really fascinating because it's stuff that they don't really make public. I don't know how accurate that book is, but mm -hmm. uh, and it's taking me a while to get there just because of life, busyness, and, and all that stuff. But like what I'm reading, I'm like, whoa, this is, is this real? This, I think, is something that we have long been curious about because it did have such a huge impact. I mean, this is the president I grew up with, basically. Right. So, yeah, uh, I'm... I'm definitely gonna watch this just, yeah. just to hear the take on it, you know. And they've got a good team of actors as well. Like this isn't the first time that Christian Bale has been acting with Amy Adams. I feel like they've chosen a bunch of people that they know are gonna work well together. Like you said, Christian Bale and Sam Rockwell have really great chemistry. Just from watching this trailer, it's already got like Oscars written all over it, right? And obviously it's coming out uh, around the holidays, so they're clearly going for that, like, Oscar bid with this. He did fatten up to play Dick Cheney. Ha. Ah. See, I mean, Christian Bale, that's what he does. Like, he gets all crazy skinny for The Machinist, and yeah. then he gets really fat, and then he gets thin, and he's just so committed. Yeah. And even his voice... I'm impressed. I'm, I'm goddamn floored by this. Like, yeah. I didn't even recognize him. I'm like, that... It took me a second to process that that was Christian Bale. I, I could not believe that that was him. That has to be good makeup as well. That can't just be fat and yeah. coloring of the hair. Like He's probably got like some sort of prosthetics and stuff on his face and whatnot. I have no idea, but yeah. I mean, dude is committed and he's gonna kill himself 
being committed to this to this craft. The doctors have warned him not to do that and he keeps doing it. Like he gained and dropped weight for Dark Knight. It's crazy. The dude is a madman. Yeah. But we gotta, you gotta give it to him. He is the dude. <laughs> like. Oh. Well, you know what they say about geniuses, right? There's like just a bit of madness. Yeah. To it, and so. Sam Rockwell as well. I've always liked Sam Rockwell. Yeah. I've always thought he was cool. I mean, he was obviously more in the comedy thing, it felt like, for a long time. But after, uh, what was the last one? Three Billboards Outside mm -hmm. of Ebbing, Missouri, or whatever it's called. I thought he did a great job in that. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think he's such a such a good, good actor. And so I'm really looking forward to this. Steve Carell's in this as well. Yeah. I think that he's got a, a very good dramatic side that not too many people know about. He's done some dramatic films, but I don't think it's, he's as widely recognized as something like The Office. He did that movie about... Um, the big sale, the big short, or something like that. I, that was a, a drama about yeah, the stock market. Yeah, that was the same people who yeah. did this movie. Yeah, I believe in his skills, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. So Amy Adams is in this movie as well. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.